Gary Sandusky, a guy who was basically, um, basically was arrested back about eight years ago for sexually abusing ten kids while he was a college, while he was an assistant football coach, basically tried to get his sentence reduced, and the judge flatly, um, flat out, basically just denied the request that he, um, get up, try to reduce his, um, he tried to reduce his sentence to a shorter one, so he tried to basically get the years dropped down to, like, whatever amount of time he wanted and requested, and they said no, which was a smart move on their part. A judge in Bellefonte, um, Pennsylvania, a judge flatly rejected Jerry Sandusky's latest request to have his 30 to 60 year child molestation sentence reduced during a brief hearing on thir on Tuesday. Judge Maureen Skirta said that she purposely fashioned the prison term to have an impact on the former Penn State assistant football coach and noted Sandusky continues to maintain his innocence even though he was found guilty. This is a repeated conduct over a course of years and the, and the court considered that Skirta um, considered that Skirta says Sandusky was convicted in 2012 of, sexually, of sexual abuse of 10 different boys ranging from grooming to sexual acts. Sandusky, who, who is now 76, participated by phone from the State Correctional Institution on Laurel, but Laurel Highlands, but said very little other than his request for that. His defense attorney, Robert Butner, argued that grievances and misconduct that Sandusky has been involved in while in prison were relatively minor. During the November resentencing hearing, the Attorney General's office described problems that included disputes about returning a meal tray, resistance to being moved from his cell, and complaints about phone calls. Butner told Skirter that she could that she should consider his age and that other defendants are, are far less likely to commit new crimes. That older yeah, the older different that older defendants like him are less likely to commit crimes. But Skirter recalled that during the November sentencing ordered by a state appeals court, Sandusky said he has spoken on the phone to his wife while an acquaintance was visiting Dottie Sandusky with an infant. So he would he would still have access to children if he were in the public in the future, Skirter said. In November, she gave him the same sentence that he had received following his 2012 jury trial. Jennifer Buck, a prosecutor with the state attorney general's office, urged Skirter to keep the sentence in place, noting that it fell within sentencing guidelines. She said the core offenses for, for um, which he was convicted were first-degree felonies. There is no more serious crimes than a felony of the first degree, Buck told the judge. After the hearing, Dottie Sandusky said she remains convinced her husband was unjustly convicted, which I doubt that he was. He, he is not guilty, which of course he was found guilty, and it would just go on and on and on. Dottie Sandusky said, I believe in Jerry, and there's a lot to be said about what has gone on, and someday the truth will come out. Yeah, the truth already came out. Ten different boys came forward and said your husband sexually molested them. That's not a coincidence. Sandusky's lawyers said that he has a month to decide whether to appeal Skirtis' decision not to change his sentence. They also plan to pursue legal action in federal court. Sandusky's arrest in 2011 led led days later, um, led days later to the firing of Hall of Fame head coach Joe Paterno, which I felt kind of bad for on his part. And the universe and the university subsequently paid more than a hundred million to people who said they had been abused by Sandusky. Um, in a filing early last month, Sandusky's defense lawyers argued that there were multiple factors that should result in a shorter prison term, including the client's background, upbringing, and positive impact on others. They said the total sentence was manifest, manifest, manifestly excessive, and I don't believe it was.